June so far extends 2024's record of being quite a bit of a dud, with very few storms forming around the world and particularly in the Northern Hemisphere so far this year. The forecast was that we were expecting possibly eight storms this month. In truth, up to the 26th of June, we've only had one. Strong high pressure ridges, stable air environments and lack of tropical disturbances has meant that global cyclone energy is so far 40% below average. Looking around the northern hemisphere we are expecting a lot more storms to form in this pivotal month of June which is when we typically start to see the tropics really start to fire up. It's not too late for that to start up in July of course and throughout the rest of the season we expect activity will continue to increase. In the Northern Hemisphere, the first storm formed on May 25th, which was the latest start since 1878, when the first storm was only recorded on May 31st. Only four storms have formed so far by June 26th, which is the lowest to date score since 1983. In the Western Pacific, we're 70% below average, with two storms so far in 2024, usually we have four by now. In the North Atlantic, Alberto formed on June 19th, marking the latest start to the Atlantic in 10 years, and if you couple with the Eastern Pacific region, it's the latest start in 30. And no storms have formed in the Eastern Pacific yet at all, which is very rare, and if it doesn't happen by July 6th, it will be the latest start in the satellite era. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. On average, 90% of storm activity in the Northern Hemisphere happens after this date, which means there's still a huge amount of activity to go. And the highest risk of storm impacts around the Northern Hemisphere is in August and September. That's typically when we get the strongest storms. Areas of interest are already active in the Atlantic, with a new 40% area of interest in the Central Atlantic Ocean, and it only takes one to make up your hurricane season. You can track all the storms as they happen on the Force 13 channels across social media and on our YouTube channel.